So in the previous video I was introducing all of the, the TubeWorks component system. Now I'm going to show you how all of that um, really fits together in a, in a, in a finished article uh, in the fly. So what am I actually going to do? I'm going to start off, remember I introduced the, the inner tubings. Uh, so here I've got the, uh, the yellow inner tubings. Uh, so I've just got a length of that. I'm just going to cut around four centimeters or so of that. I'm going to cut a section, and then we need to just close one end off. Just burr the edge. Sorry, it's not really closing off. It's just creating that lump. You obviously need the the hole still present, otherwise your nylon won't go through. So it's just going to be creating that bird edge. Let that cool for a second. What you can do in the meantime is, uh, so again you've got to choose your uh, main body component. Here I'm going to use just a, <coughs> pardon me, a brass or a gold body section. So that just slides onto there and that's going to be held in place. It's not going to slip off the end because of that bird edge. So that just slides up and over and onto our needle. I'm just going to firm that up. You go. Make sure that's in pretty tight, otherwise when you're tying uh, the tube will start twisting and it'll undo everything that you've essentially secured on onto the inner tubing. <clears throat> so with that in place, what we then do, again this is just a very simple way of doing it, this is how I tend to tie most of these flies. Uh, there are very complicated ways of doing it, but honestly uh, this gets you fishing quicker. So what I do, tie in your nylon, uh, sorry, your thread just behind that tubing, and just by tying in just there, it actually secures that tubing in place as well, so it's not kind of slipping up and down uh, the the length of that inner tubing. What we do then is we take a, a lump of uh, light bright angel hair glister, whatever you want to be using or calling it, and take a, a decent bunch. So you can see got a decent bunch here. What I do with that is, rather than actually dubbing it in or, or whatever, I take it into the palm of my hand and I actually just take it around in a circle. Just keep working it around and you'll find it just collects in a ball. Again this is just a, such a simple way of constructing these flies but they work and they look great. So you end up with a ball. So all you do, you actually tie that ball in. So take it up you can kind of take it, you know, slightly over the length, uh, the the roundness of the uh, the inner tubing. As you can see, once, twice, three times, and that's it. And then tie, take your thread around and tie in behind it. And really pull it back, pull it back that way as close as you can onto there. What that does, this little ball of dubbing, because it's such a um, a thick ball of dubbing. Anything essentially in front of that won't collapse. So it's actually helping support all of your materials forward by here. Um, again, these flies are very quick to tie. They're obviously gonna take a bit longer with uh, me yapping on, uh, describing every single element of this, but you'll get the idea. So that'll help, every, uh, help stop everything from collapsing and it'll give you a nice, solid, uh, thick silhouette as that fly is fishing around. So again, just put in a ball, a couple of wraps around it, brush it back and then uh, that's your dubbing section done. What I then do, I just take a, I've just got a, an old card with uh, some velcro on it. What I do, I just take that around just to pull out a few of those fibers as well, just to give it a bit more life. There you go, that's perfect. So, Next we've got the, the uh, actually, there's a two-step hackle, and I'll explain why now. So, great for these type of flies, <clears throat> you want uh, a cheap saddle cape, uh, you can buy, these are fantastic, uh, Funky Fly Tying do these, they're Nature Spirit Select uh, collaring hackles, they are absolutely perfect for this type of fly, uh, but I couldn't find my, uh, my yellow to experiment on this fly, but, yeah, to give you a better, better contrast. Um, for the demonstration, but these are great. These type of hackles, you know, just the back end hackles up here, uh, 
If not, you can use Schlappen or um, Hen Saddle Capes. Yeah, they, they, they are absolutely fantastic. What you're looking for is a good fiber length. You want plenty of mobility in those fiber lengths. Uh, and yeah, they're, they're nice and soft. Basically, some, yeah, quite often called soft hackles. Uh, there's a lot of different names for them. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to, again, that looks pretty much like a Schlappen hackle. Uh, and keep these kind of marabou type base feathers. Uh, they look great to the front end of the fly. What you do is just strip a bit of that back, strip off the flue, and it's a double, you're going to use this twice, so what we do is, first of all we strip back uh, roughly how much we're going to need. That looks great. And we're going to snip there, just to create a little V there, and just attach that up onto the fly okay so again your dubbing ball is going to help keep this hackle alive so it's not going to just sit aimlessly and lifeless against the tube so brush the fibers back just try and double them back as much as you can you can wet them a bit if you want help them behave don't wet them too much otherwise they'll just trap down even further there you go. So we really loosened up those fibers now and really trying to double them back, just sweeping them back. And just take a few turns, okay. So once and keep sweeping them back as you take them around. Make sure you're not trapping a layer once. And twice will be enough. So tie that off. Just a couple of turns will be fine. A couple of turns there and then just sweep it all back and tie over that base so that's really solid in there now okay so that's great so we've got that section held in there so what we do now is we actually move on to the wing if you wanted to put a bit more flash you can actually put a bit more flash in there but essentially by utilizing that light bright, light bright or glister uh, you've got the flash section in there already so we've got our arctic fox um, it's gonna Choose a nice bunch here. Okay. Cut that out of the base. Strip out a load of the, the base fibers. Not too much. You actually want it. Um, again, this fly really helps keep a strong silhouette. So you don't want to strip out too much of the base, actually, because it helps keep that bulk uh, in the in in the head section to taper back. So, okay, that's pretty perfect there. Good thing about this. So all you do then, I'm going to turn that wing upside down. So I've got a nice tapering in there already. So what I'm going to do, tie that in there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to keep that. See the, the tag ends. I'm tying the wing in that direction to begin with. Keep those tag ends. It'll help invert the wing. So hold that there and then tie over this base section. So three turns. You see we've still got that base and that wing is pointing that way. What that wing or what that base section does, again, it just helps keep a, a thicker profile and silhouette. What we do then is we bring the wing forward. And what you're doing that, you can actually give it a bit of a, a pinch and a rub down just to spread the wing slightly more across the tube and then that base section there you've essentially created from the uh, sorry, talking a bit too much I'm not concentrating on my time uh, the base section you've created here you're actually just trapping the wing down on that again so what we're going to do get back onto that little step there once twice three times and that's it done so the wing is now pointing all the way down the length of the fly, but you can see it's pretty inverted, and that's what you want. You don't want it just collapsing against uh, against the the um, the body. You want it staying in that thick profile se uh, section. Uh, it creates a much thicker profile towards the towards the head. So that's that done. What we do then, the same hackle we had earlier. We're now going to wind this head hackle. Actually, sorry, missing a step there. A bit of flash. So you don't need too much. It's going to take two strands of this. 
Uh, it's kind of an embossed uh, flash material. I'm going to do two strands. Just take it down underneath the thread, up and under, and bring that up and over. Make sure it's down the middle of the fly. There you go. You see that's just running down the centre of your fly, centre of the wing, and just chop these off in different lengths. You don't want them all finishing and finishing and fishing at the uh, at the same length. There you go. Okay, so that's the wing finished. So then again, now we move back to the hackle. So I'll make sure they're all brushing backwards, and then start winding that in front of your wing. So we're on track, hackle it, there you go. And we're utilizing what I was showing you earlier, that marabou type uh, hackle towards the head. It looks quite bulky at this stage, but actually when it hits the water, it's really not. So, but it's got great movement. So do we utilize that? Take it around, probably need three turns. There you go, that's it. Push that back, trap that down. Just work your thread in between those hackle fibers. And then comb them back just to create that neat finish on the head. We can do this point as well. Take that Velcro section, you can brush those hackles back. And then trim that hackle stem just there. So, you can now, if you wanted to, just slide a, a tube on, uh, sorry, the, the head cone on, just there, and that would be pretty much the, the fly finished if you wanted it to, okay? Um, the important thing is to not build up a, a, a thick thread section here, because if you do, this will actually sit way back, and it will actually give you uh, a pretty messy looking head. So you want to finish it really thin and in there. Uh, and then just push that up onto there and that'll actually finish the fly off really nice um, but just to make it look nice just finish it off just for this demo what you can actually do is there's a couple of different things you can do if you wanted to you can add some legs to the fly uh, so I love these barred rubber legs okay so you can add them into either side of the wing so that looks really great, uh, it gives you added movement, so you use one for each side of the wing. So you can either do that, or uh, the very obvious choice would be uh, jungle cock. So I'm just going to finish this off with, with some jungle cock. So when you've got your jungle cock chosen, kind of strip back a bit of these base feathers. I tend to tie these in one at a time, just for the placing of them. There, one. Let's get them around the same length. Two. Don't trap the hackle. Two. There you go. Looks good. And then double them back just to create a solid connection there so they don't slide out. One. Two. Three, there you go. Snip those base waist sections. So the next section could not be easier. So all I do then is, so that's essentially your fly finished, okay? We're going to put a, a cone or something on the head, but anyway, through to this section then, we just take some, some super glue and put some super glue on the thread, take it up and down the thread. Create little droplets along your thread. Such. And then just wind on. That's going to soak into all of those sections in the head. There you go. 
and then you can just trim trim your thread and that's not going to move anywhere um, because we're going to put a, a cone on as well I'll probably put a little extra drop in there so it kind of ties in and bonds better there you go gel can be better than super glue at this point actually so actually rather than the glue just use a slightly thicker super super glue gel and then you push that up push it in really tight just there make sure it's sitting upright and these cones will help those fibers move when they hit the water as well so let's finish that off there and what we do then is just take the little Stanley knife again just a couple of mil from the end of the fly and just rotate there you go and then you take your lighter again and burr that edge and that's the fly finished okay if any trap fibers you can just brush them out that fly is just gonna dance in the water yeah there's so much movement in that fly uh, and because of the way you've constructed the hackle nothing is just gonna collapse against the tube so you're gonna get great movement uh, without bulk yeah th there's actually very little bulk in that fly so everything is just gonna move uh, and look really enticing to a fish but that's essentially the, the the end of the demo the end of the fly uh, just to get it off sometimes you just need to use your scissors like so uh, but yeah so you just put some silicon tubing on there on the back end of it you can see how everything just holds up I'm not sure if the camera is picking that up you can see how everything yeah, you look at it from the from the back, sec back section everything is just being held up and that's how it will swim so uh, these fibers won't collapse when they hit water they will keep out like that but you can see the bulk sorry the taper or the um, how the silhouette would act so it's, it, it holds a really thick profile okay hope that was a use get tying guys